Hello and welcome back to Deliver Us Moon where uh, we are looking for cockpit through control center I guess Okay, so for some reason I completely ignored that the there's a way here. We're trying to see why the ACA didn't spot the debris. It should have. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the cluster get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Then you do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on comms. You're... Oh, now we have a flashlight. Mm-hmm. I've double checked it, Claire. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. Yeah, trust me. Alright. Egress out of the airlock. this from anyway satellites mission related debris even pieces from service old station pearson space station from when rolf survived the breach during the moon mission uh -huh. huh. um i'm kind of on it what weird thing to feel honored about <laughs> right first things first what can you see is there any damage to the thruster Debris from Pearson Space Station. A big explosion on the station caused the Rolf to be flung out, barely escaping death during Mission Fortuna. In the end, he had to give his life to save us from the blackout. A big sacrifice to make. There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. <laughs> It's seen better days, but it's holding together. Good. What about the pipes around the thruster? What pipes? Oh. They're oh. pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be even semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? I don't think so. Yeah. Dad ever 
Thank you. No need to worry. Oops. I really need this cuddly warmth now and then. Claire wouldn't like knowing that I brought Moonbar, seeing as it would probably remind her of the person who gave it to me. Better keep it safe in my locker.
Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster can send us completely off course. I'll sit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. Why are you not strapping yourself to the ship? This one I will not understand at all. Sis, I don't think we can salvage this thruster. It's taking severe damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. Well, of course. I cannot. Oh, you want a bed? But I think it's over here. Apparently, we are taking too much space. Okay, let it be your way. Cable, cable, cable. Those other things. This one? Oh. It would be a lot easier if we would fit in here. Stabilize yourself.
What's with all the trash? The forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago at least. That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. And it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. Maybe. Maybe. I just I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together before you have to leave. Girls, we're almost there. Let's keep walking. Come on. Let's go. His story. Right, yeah, um, where was I? Ah, right, okay, so, so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night. What's a frat party? Uh, well, it, it, it's like a birthday party, but instead of presents, people just, um, drink a lot. That sounds stupid. It was. I never liked going to those either. Uh, but I'm glad I did go to this one. Your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you, you've seen me dance. I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and, well, um, I, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic, then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg, then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. <sighs> Needless to say, I didn't dance again until our wedding day. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Whoa. Cool, right? Who made this? Dad. Glad this is all still here. Uh, Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. Why didn't I get to go? Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. My gear? Uh, oh, yeah. Final checks to commence mission. <laughs> Uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. Except this time you get to use these cool looking claw things. Uh, left foot. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah? Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. But, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. Uh, just like your scouting badges, basically. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? Completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right, so final tally. Go or no go? Go. It just occur occurred to me. You look like Gordon Ramsay, and I'm not gonna answer that. Just slamming each pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. Fantastic, Moonbear! Okay, 
I don't wanna know what I just did there. Exactly how well how well built Fine. they are. I will rephrase. How do you justify the risks of taking Kathy to live on the moon versus her just staying here on Earth? You know what is happening to our planet. We've forgotten. You read the same WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You you know what happened. To With us. Don't, don't you? Come on, Claire. I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. Come on. Let's put the gear away. Yep. There you go. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? She does. Don't worry. Change your mind. And we'll be together? Yep. Let's get you home. You need a big rest before your exam tomorrow. Watching me sleep. Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. <laughs> I just, I just brought that for comfort. Uh, what do you expect to find on Mars, Kath? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking, I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing, and I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac? You mean Dad? Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's all that matters, right? He's always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far I'm doing just that, right?
close the shutters for dramatic effect, because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. What? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Lavos. Have any of you ever seen solar panels like these? Looks like they combine standard PV panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you? It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah, Ryan, suit up and prepare to board. Kathy, start with pre-docking preparations. I'm doing the docking procedure. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint zero to two are calculated and defined. Waypoint two assigned to auto lock abort function. Final go no go pilot waypoint two. All right, Kathy, take us in. Hmm. Wait for to move up. Okay. Waypoint one reached. Commence maneuver to waypoint two. Roger that. No, 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 no. Uh, keep moving forward. Like I said, wrong thing. Yeah, we should be fine. usually done with the computers and with human input anymore like this now also complete. Docking confirmed. Looks like a smooth dock. Great job, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already passing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. I shall accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy. Please respect my command. Oh, my sister. I am your commander. Claire, I think we could use another set of eyes over here. The interior is huge and built like a maze. We could be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. 
Okay, but I'm gonna end this part here, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.